Store.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, load and maintain a contact style Garvey label pricing gun. These instructions should work for all the Gar old Garvey contact style label guns and also for the purely contact label guns now that are distributed under the name contact. So the uh, first thing I, I would need is a needle nose pliers which we're going to use later and uh, then you have your label gun and some tape. You may also want to have your ink rollers. In order to load the Garvey contact label gun you're going to see these two notch, uh, latches on the left and the right side with an arrow pointing towards the handle. When you pull that latch down towards the handle this door will come loose or open up for you. And there's a large cavity right there in the center of the gun where your labels go. Now you're going to put your roll of labels in so that the strip comes out from the bottom. You want to make sure that the labels are pointing upward towards the nip roller and your liner downward towards the handle. And I pull it out about six to eight inches out of the gun like this and then I lay it across that nip roller and then I'll close the door. And once you've got that door closed you'll notice that there's another arrow on the frame right here right above the word you know made in Germany patented and you'll feed the labels between this white roller and that arrow like this and while you're feeding them in you're going to want to squeeze the trigger so that the labels are pulled towards the center of the gun by the advancing mechanism. Now it'll be a little bit sticky until it gets to the point where all those labels are coming off the liner uh, and through the, the mechanism. Once it gets through the mechanism you'll notice that the stickiness of is, has gone away and those labels are dispensing really quickly. That's pretty much how you load the label gun. Now as far as changing the ink roller, this is pretty complicated and I, I want to advise you to be very careful because the inker assembly is extremely brittle. Uh, it's one of the design flaws of this gun actually. And uh, so you'll want to be extra careful when removing the inker assembly. Uh, you'll notice that there's some grooves right here on the inker assembly. The inker assembly kind of moves up. It's spring loaded as you squeeze the trigger. But you'll notice that there's these grooves here and that actually is uh, the latch that holds the inker assembly onto the body, onto the frame of the label gun. So these little grooves here are what need to be changed, uh, to, to, to be squeezed in order to remove the inker assembly. But what I'll do initially is to make that piece of plastic a little more elastic, I'll push on that groove thing, I don't know, 10 to 15 times just to give it some elasticity. You'll only need to do this the first few times to change the ink rollers on this gun. Once you become an expert and once the gun's been used pretty well, then the piece becomes a little bit less brittle. And once you've got that piece sort of elastic, we're going to go ahead and grab it with our needle nose pliers. What I typically do is I'll hold the needle nose pliers just like that in the center of that grooved panel. And then sort of squeezing the other side of the sinker assembly like that and we're going to twist and then wiggle and that'll pull the anchor assembly out. <coughs> it might take you a few tries to get it the first time. Now that anchor assembly that anchor assembly holds the ink roller on either side and again remember that it is a brittle piece of plastic so when you do lift up on it make sure you're very gentle and do it just enough to get it out. And what I'll do is I'll usually hold the frame of the anchor assembly in one hand it does get your hands a little bit dirty and then slowly pull up on this piece of plastic being careful not to snap it and then it should pop out take one side out the other side will just come out when you get your new ink roller and you want to put it in you slide one side in first and then again be gentle and get the second side in so that the tabs are inside of the inker assembly frame. And to put it back in, simply going to put it back in place and then push down until it snaps back into place.
I recommend you change ink rollers once every 10 to 15,000 labels. That will make sure that your print head lasts a while because if, if you allow that ink roller to get dry, uh, the fibers from the foam in the ink roller will actually get stuck inside the bands and start making your sixes, your nines, your zeros, your fours uh, print improperly. If you have any questions or if you need more information about the contact or Garvey style label gun, please visit us at kencostore.com.